the Spore and Kevin Harvick and this team, they are sh starting to show strength again, starting to show a lot of speed. You have to wonder if they're starting to bring out their newer cars, newer generation cars, something they can contend to put a championship with. Yeah, well, we saw it last week. Oh, it was a big hit for Brian Scott. In the 44, the yeah, caution the comes out again. Brian had issues getting out of turn two earlier. Ford Arpen was trying to let him go inside of him, so he and just left us on the straightaway. Great opportunity for Brad Keselowski, who was the first car scored a lap down to get back on the lead lap after that loose wheel. In the first incident we saw, it seemed like Brian Scott and the 13 got together. We'll see right. This is exiting turn two. Gets really narrow right there. You see Tony Stewart get loose. Might make contact with the left rear of Brian Scott. It's hard to see. Well, he did right there. Well, he definitely made contact with the 44 right there. Wow. No question about that. Yeah, I don't know if... if Tony was mad because he came off the corner side by side, or if he's going to say he misjudged that, but it looks like Tony was not happy. And that puts the 44 into the wall and now behind the wall. Ryan Scott now in the garage. Uh, a lot going on there. What's your interpretation of what happened? Uh, we were just in a bad situation. We were at the very end of a run. Our tires were, uh, were really gone. I was slipping and sliding a lot. I was trying to let those guys go that had newer, fresher tires. Um, I was trying to let Tony go there, and I think he got inside of me and got loose there. Then I was still trying to point him to the inside to let him go, um, but apparently he got mad with me. I just want to thank Twisted T, Ford, Albertson, Shore Lodge, everybody that came on board. I got, I got a lot of respect for Tony. He's always raced me really clean. I'm not sure what he thought was going on there. I'm not sure if he thought I was trying to hold him up. I wasn't. Uh, I was trying to let him go and uh, even pointed him to the inside. Maybe he thought I was giving him the finger or something. Um, I'll talk with them. We'll figure it out. Uh, I hate it. You know, it was a tough race. Southern 500 is a tough race. Everybody's slipping and sliding a lot. and uh, It's getting to the point where people's tempers are getting short. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Ryan Scott, obviously a, a pretty candid explanation of what he thought happened. Absolutely. And just to put a period on the story, NASCAR has asked for driver and crew chief of the 14 to meet them in the NASCAR hauler at the conclusion of the race. I thought Brian Scott did an admirable job in this interview of telling his side of the story, but doing it respectfully because, you know, you see right here. Clear, all clear.